All right, so introduction then. Perfect. Of course, we have the legendary first uh, Heisman Trophy winner, uh, Mark Ingram, uh, multiple pro bowler. Uh, we talk about, you know, the greatness that is Mr. Ingram. Uh, and, of course, I'm just the scrub who is attending on this lovely podcast oh, of decade. Trust Levels. Don't let him lie to y'all. Yeah, that being oh. said, uh, you know, we are, we're bringing in and introducing our friend, uh, we would call him an All-American. We'd call him a, a multiple-time Pro Bowler. We say in his first, you know, oh, in every season he's been a part of, he's been a thousand-yard receiver. Um, he's consistent. gotten. I would say consistent is key. When we talk about who we're bringing on next is the Mike Evans. Appreciate you for coming on. In the flesh, legend. Appreciate y'all having me, fellas. Levels, big trust levels. levels. You hear me? Brought to you by Pepsi. So how how everything been though with uh, the off season, man? How everything been this off season uh, with the odd circumstances? Yeah, it's been it's been you know different, obviously, but it's been it's been great. I've been able to do what I do all the time and what I love to do: just chill, yes, sir. play the game, yes, sir, chill with the fam, you know, watch TV, chill with the kids, mm-hmm. so I got chill with my know- homies. Do, do you have do you have the uh, the jugs machine with like the six footballs going at the rocket launcher situation? I've been seeing that around a lot. I was like, I want one. I don't nah, even catch I don't even yeah, catch like, footballs like that. But that's I want that one. monarch. Yeah, something like that. that like you I, don't I even have to have the people manually shoot the ball. That thing just just plump through. And I was like, I, I oh want yeah, no, nah, it it's, like, it's pretty good. I I just don't use the jugs that much, honestly. If I did, it'll be definitely a good investment. But I, I just don't use the jugs that much. Live arm. Need wait, a live arm, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah, there we yeah. go. I was gonna say, wait, you you have a thousand yeah. yards every season. If if people don't know about you, uh, every year since you've been in the league, you've had a thousand yards. I've I've seen it two times a year. Uh, you know. Yeah. Uh, nah, y'all, y'all do a good job right? though. Y'all do a good job. Man, collectively so, as a de- whole, a whole defense and D coordinator does a great job. Yeah, every year y'all come back with even more. Like it, it was like, all right, we got to start Mike, stop Mike Evans, and it was like, oh snaps, now they got Godwin, yeah. D Jack. I'm like, God. The Brady, yeah, Brady Grunt. No, I'm trying. I'm trying to talk about your hooping skills, though, bro. What's good? Yeah, what let's talk good. about baller. This. You play. You play what half a season in, in, in college? I'm just gonna throw hella juice on this. You played three games in college. <laughs> <laughs> and I play none. <laughs> I wish. But yeah, so you played basketball in, in high school. Mm-hmm. AAU ball. Because you you, AAU, you ain't yeah. play football. To, yeah, you ain't play football to your senior year, right? Yep. So it was straight mm-hmm. hooping. Well, middle school I played, and I played when I was young. You know what I'm saying? I always loved football. Football was actually my first love. And then I played basketball. I was like, damn, this is way better sport. I love this way more. And then I got to high school. I didn't really like the program. I went to football practice one day. They did 40-40s after a -a two-a-day practice to end off a -a two-a-day. I said, hell no. I'm out this motherfucker. And then I – I'm going to take my ass back inside. And then they kept trying to recruit me. As I got bigger in high school, I was like six foot my freshman year. Then I grew to like six four, six five my sophomore and junior year. Each year they'd try to get me to come out. And I was like, nah. I I knew how to play. I I knew I was good. but And I loved football. I just didn't want to play it for my school at the time. And then junior year, spring ball, after the season was over, I was like, man, going into senior year, why not? Let me just do all the sports. Let me do track, football, basketball, do it all. What event in track, though? Let's talk about it. Hurdler. I did, I did the relays, and then uh, you said hurdler? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, you know, you look, might... at 6'5", he didn't have to hurdle much. You... Nah, That's yeah. what I'm saying. That thing was just a little bump in the road. He ain't – you don't even see the yeah. hurdle. You know what I mean? Nah, I did uh, the relays and the uh, the triple jump and long jump. I was a good triple jumper, real good. That was my best event. Okay. Hey. Yeah, I say well, hey, well, most people don't know when you get them track meets. Like, you get those weird track meets where you get, like, a, a, a four-by-two, and you like – Y'all doing 200 relays? <laughs> Maybe that's just an Arizona thing. We had 200 relays, and I was like, just the no. one, like, sun. Four by sun- two is everything. Four right? by two is a, is a great race. Right. It's like it's like, like two weird track meets that you just, like, they got a four by two. I went in. I went in. <laughs> <laughs> Like, I don't want part of that 100, what but I take that four by two. Four by four. You, I know you was 400 meter runner. I know it. Huh? I did four by four. I hated it. That's the I worst hate. race that you can do. That's a grown man race there. 
I hate right. it. I'll never do it again. You come across on that last hundred, that lactic acid be building up in the hamstrings and the low your back. Glutes. Oh man. Monkey Can't be on walk you. After. Hey, <laughs> monkey you, be on you. you. Hey, you run that thing and you really think you you're like, look, I can't give you no more than what I got. And then coach hit you with the hey, we like how you ran that. Can you run an eight <laughs> hundred? Look, before no I deal. curse you out in front of my mama, look, I, I can't I can't do that, coach. <laughs> So what's the what's the points per game average in high school, man? Who was the best player you played against? I know you said you played AAU and uh, mm-hmm. all that. Who, who's the best player, best team you played against? The best player, I mean, I played against Marcus Smart. It was really was mm. really good. He had a trip mm. trip dub on us. Uh, you know, I gave him a, a couple of fits he, on the on the defensive end. Yeah, but we didn't really guard each other much. Um, he was one of the best. But this other guy, Shabazz Muhammad, he went to uh, UCLA. Yeah, I'll say he's it, definitely UCLA product. Yeah, Tim, Timberwolves, mm-hmm. and uh, he scored. He put fifty on us, a fifty piece in AAU, and we didn't even know who he was. We were just playing. We we're like, oh yeah, we're about to run these boys. They were big. We were smaller, but we used to get up and down. And man, oh man, he put a fifty, <laughs> 50 piece on us. They beat us like a hundred to sixty. It was a, ve- a tournament in Vegas. It, Coach made you run. It was getting <laughs> buckets, huh? He made you run gasters right after after the game. It, it's actually it was actually our last. It was like my last time playing AAU basketball, like the, one of the last tournaments in July. Mm. And you said we got blew out by them boys, and that was it. Mm. Well, so what, what? What's your most points in the game? What's your most points in the game? The most points in the game, I think it'll be my sophomore year. It'll be AAU. AAU. I think I had like forty four. It was the most I ever had. So what's your go-to move? You 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 my you go-to on the, move on yeah, offense. You are, you're, you're on the wing. You you clearing them out, doing the LeBron, or what you doing, man? You you, you uh, need the post. You stepping back. What you doing? A Fading go-to away. move. Probably All like a. I don't. It's no go-to move. I just try to get get the defender off balance. Hezzy yeah. moves. You know what I'm saying? A lot of hezzies. A lot of hezzies. You know what I'm saying? A lot of rocking on the side, and then a lot of power. A lot of a lot of elbows. You know, a lot of lowering the shoulder. So what was the first time you dunk, bro? First time I done was ninth grade. Yeah, that's about ninth it. Grade. I said you you knew you was a hooper when you could start dunking. Like I'm not sure what it is about the kids now because them fools is dunking in like sixth, seventh grade already. Yeah. They're like they're like yo, if you ain't got bounce. Like I'm just thinking like you know when we was younger, like you dunk at like eighth, ninth grade. You you that dude for a hot a legend. You was a legend. Who's dunking sixth, seventh grade now? Right. Wow. And, and coming out and like really being technical. Like I ain't never seen these seventh eighth graders like playing AAU ball. They got the pump fake, the hezzy, they got the filet. They they're over here doing the sham guys. I'm over here I'm looking I, like I this. wish we had access to that type of training and those moves. Like the Euro step, we didn't know nothing about that until like Ginobili came and then it took a while for everybody to like, you know, latch no on to that. And all those moves that people got nowadays. Well, that's why th- I think the NBA is better now because it's you can't guard anybody. The, yeah. the depth you can't of the guard the moves, anybody. No doubt, everybody can make every tough shot, and you just can't guard nobody, bro. It's a way different game, like than what we were like used to watching when we were growing up. You know, you had your it center is. who was on the block. He was like, "Go get down there, get on the block." That's extinct now. Centers better be center, able to shoot. Yeah, Anthony Davis is pulling. You feel me yeah. from from the three pointer? His you know? skill set is unbelievable. No doubt. No doubt. All right, let, let's get back to football, Mark. Look, look, we we diving in like I remember my first love. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I thought I was gonna be Michael Jordan Jr. No, no doubt. <laughs> All right. Did you have so so you played a, AAU ball? You play mm-hmm. finally got into football. You have more scholarship offers basketball than football. Yep. What made you go football? It was like a just like a hunch or like a just a, I don't know like God whispering in my ear like yo just. You, you saw Calvin you Johnson for a reason. Like, like yeah. yeah, that's me. Well, I went to I went to an unofficial visit to Texas A and M, which is three hours is three hours from where I'm from, Galveston, Texas. So I went yeah. up there on an unofficial. I wasn't committed in basketball or football or anything. I haven't I didn't decide what sport I was going to play. And then I went on a football, and then they were getting ready for the Cotton Bowl. And uh, you know, I was just at the facility. And I was watching practice. And I was like, man. I was like, I could come here and play early. Like, I'm, I'm better than these guys already, I thought. Mm-hmm. And then I was like, I'm going to come here. I'm going to come here. And then if I if I get the itch to play basketball that bad, then I'll decommit. But I'm going to commit here. And then I, I committed December of 2010, I believe. And then, uh, you know, I signed my, my LOI in February. And then the rest is history. Mm. History. Mm-hmm. February 20, 2011 then. 2011, yeah. 
when me and Mark was was out there combine training. <laughs> <laughs> Full blown combine training. Man. Mm. Man. I love it. What year is this for you? You going into your fifth year, sixth year? Uh, seventh. Seventh. Yeah. Ooh. Dang. So Dang. wait, I met Dang. you. Are y'all going into ten? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Y'all three yeah. years ahead of me. Yes. Woo. God is Man. good. All God the time. Been good. All the time. And all the time. <laughs> P- P- PAO, good. shout out to my PAO boys right That's here. That's P-A-O. Yeah. PAO, bro. Yes, sir. Look, we all met at uh, PAO, which PAO stands for Player Professional at- Athletes. Player Outreach. Athletes. Yeah, I thought it was player out- athlete, athlete, professional athlete, athlete, professional athlete. athlete outreach. Is it player athletes outreach? It's no, a it's really, it's a, it's, a, it's a cool little, it's a great vibe. vacation, like getaway for all NFL players slash couples, like in their spouse. Like it's, it's awesome. No, no, yeah. no doubt. Let, 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 let's get back to college a little bit. I know you was a beast, man. You what you went three and out, right? Yeah. Red shirt in two years, two mm-hmm. years, all two American. You know, you had, dang, you, you had 279 out. yards against Bama. I didn't even want to say that. That hurt my feelings. You snapped on that. Is that, that the game that, I took? We lost the game, right? Yeah, okay, okay. We lost that game. That, that okay. elevates yeah, stock that right there. Went for about 300 on Bama. That's an unheard of. Oh, my goodness. But, uh, otherwise, all <laughs> that, who was, like, your closest teammates on the team, man, back at A&M? Mm-hmm. Like, and, 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 and what was your favorite experiences at A&M away from being a football player, just being a student on campus? Well, shit, uh, I had a lot of close, close friends. Obviously, Menzel, uh, he yeah. was a groomsman on wedding. Ryan Swope, a uh, receiver. Darrell Walker, mm. um, one of my roommates, Devontae Burns. I had a lot of close friends on the team that I still, you know, talk to today and, and still close with. Um, some of the best moments, like, about just being in college and being on campus. Yes, sir. Man, we were so broke. It, it, I just found beauty in like the struggle, I guess. Like yeah. one day it's going to pay off. I mean, I, yeah. I don't know. I, I enjoyed the football aspect and the partying was, was cool too. I guess college the the, part, the party scene was all right. Cause at first when I got to college, I didn't really go out. I didn't like doing that shit. I didn't drink or anything, smoke, do none of that. And then I went out like after my freshman season, I was like, man, I'm going to loosen up and go out with my teammates. And I started having fun. Mm-hmm. And that was pretty cool going out and having, having fun with my, my teammates. That's dope. Let's go. Wasn't it enough fun to keep you locked down? Because after three years, you're like, hey, I've had enough of this shit. I'm out. Love nah, that. Nah, nah, yeah, absolutely not. Yeah, I was I was too broke. I had a <laughs> you daughter. Heard just, you heard what he said. He early said, on. He had to get that, that money. No doubt. Yeah. Was it was nothing I could overall. do in college. You know what I'm saying? It was no nothing doubt. else I could do. To... Seventh overall, you made the right decision. <laughs> <laughs> he, had to, he, he had to make the money moves. He's, I could go where? All right, y'all. It's been real. Yeah, I had that plan early, too. After my my first year playing, I was like, yeah, I'm probably gonna leave after this next year because I I was I was hurt half of my redshirt. I mean, my redshirt freshman year, I was hurt half of that year. And I still led the team, whatever in yards, uh, freshman all freshman SEC, whatever. And then I was like, yeah, I'm gonna be healthy this year, and they're gonna really see see what I got. So oh, they gonna feel that. I kind of knew. I was like, yeah, I kind of seen how it was gonna play out. So out of all the all the passes, hey, wh- what's your favorite reception, man? I know you got. Crazy highlights going over the top, feeling it off the back. You okay. know what I mean? A uh, college, it would have to be. I, I had a 95 yard touchdown against your boys, Mark, uh, Alabama. I that. Damn. I yeah, we lost that. that game, but I ain't never been in a stadium that was more loud and electric than that moment. Because, you know, we were down two scores, we were backed up. The game was about to be over if they stopped us. And then. I, I wasn't even supposed to run this raw. I was supposed to run a post curl, but I ran a post. I was like, fuck it. I just threw my hand up, <laughs> and Johnny threw it up. Perfect ball. I caught it in stride, and then I took it all the way. Even cr- yeah. cramps in my body. I was cramping up on the play. Made it all the way to the end zone, and it was it was crazy. We call that up top poke chop. <laughs> <laughs> we call that. You feel me? Too. I say, once you throw the arm up, I said, oh, he went Randy Moss with it. Yeah, you know I just called it the Randy. I just be like, hey. Throw that thing. Hey, man, I'm, I'm trying to know about Tom Brady, man, and these off-season workouts, which, which y'all been having going on down there. What y'all got brewing over there in Tampa, man? Shit. This, what y'all been think? doing, just running routes it's, and stuff? That's what normal, I'm saying. The normal stuff. Like, it's, it's literally the, the same shit everybody he else do. He didn't use a conch shell to call you? Just, like, you didn't get that same courtesy? Like, <laughs> nah. you, didn't, you didn't pop up nah. from nowhere? Okay. I'll say he, he threw a conch shell. And it's just the same. Just, like, just running routes. That's it. 
just feel like he's monument ready. Like something about his face is he's just he sculpted. <laughs> I, I he sculpted agree with like, I agree with that. I agree. Monument I was ready. Going, yeah, like bus I'm going ready. to be the greatest, Tom Brady. No, I get that. I get that. Hmm. He said bus ready. <laughs> Definitely. He would have took, you know, three Super Bowls away from him. He's still getting that. He's still. Hey, are y'all best friends? Y'all gotta be best friends. This is my dog. This is my brother, man. Um, you know, we got drafted together in New Orleans, man. Mm -hmm. First round, he went 24, I went 28. Both our dads played. So we was in New Orleans together eight years. He's still there. They sent me shipping, sent me packing. Um, oh. But um, that ain't you know, true. He, he left. He yeah. left, and I've just, I've just been sitting there like, now who do I talk to? Because <laughs> you know, At least he, he went to a good squad, though. At least he went to a great squad. squad. Like, yeah, I awesome. mean, yeah, 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 yeah. It's, Hey, I'm nice, meant nice to be squad. a Raven right now. I was meant to be a Saint my first eight years, but right now I'm meant to be a Raven. That's for sure. Yes. You look yeah. good in that purple, bro. Can't lie. Hey, hey, that purple is clean. Oh, that purple that and black. Slick. Black I mean, jerseys, I black helmets at night. Yeah. <laughs> hey, y'all practice jerseys. I love them practice jerseys, bro. Hey, they're nice, but they suck putting them on every day. I know they, they suck tight, huh? I know they bro. tight. That's the thing. They like everything got to be they're like game, game day. Jersey. So yeah. yeah, so you you in there like this every day. But when you get it on, though, I bet it feel good and just they do. nice. You but make you want make you want to practice. Really, I got the baggiest jersey. Everybody holding me down in practice. <laughs> but oh, Mike, they keep getting better. They keep adding better pieces. They're like, oh, oh, Calais, you you've been an All Pro the last three years. Why don't you come on over? And they keep just getting better pieces. Like what I missed though. I hey, mean, I, like what? What? Look what at look at Tampa. Look at you guys. You have to continue Tampa to improve if you want to have shot at winning anything. Look, I, I was like, I was like, how could you let Jameis Winston go, Tom Brady? Damn, like, how you, <laughs> you gonna grab a goat like that? What do I grab, say to that? I, I wasn't expecting that at all. I was like, bro, I, I was, I was like, like, I, I, I love Jameis, but I understand. That's what I'm saying. I was, hey, I was like, <laughs> how you let Jameis go, <laughs> I mean, Tom Brady? I, yeah, I yeah? understand. Okay, that was a power move by Tampa. No See, Temple always annoying. Like they always good. They always nice. Got the right players, but then they we don't do that. No, nah, we just don't get over the hump. We always be ourselves. True. Y'all know that. Yeah, we play against y'all. We always be getting penalties, doing the dumbest stuff, bro, for, for no years. Doubt. But we just gotta clean that up, and then we'll be bro, you, bro. Be able but to you compete. got like you got like a a star powered potential kid in the tight end with OJ Howard, and then like, you add him and Gronk. You know Tom Brady likes two tight ends plus Mike. Plus Godwin, ooh! Now, now you I can't say. Did y'all say we got, we got Ronald Jones? Yeah, Ronald Jones. He be toting that thing. Yeah, he be toting hey, that tater. Okay. Hey, it'll be his third year this year. Okay. Yeah. He like go. Like he go hit you. He go. He, he go hit you with something nasty. You come <laughs> off that edge. <laughs> that, 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 yeah. Deadly. Ha ha ha. Leave him like over there. I'm just. Uh, you you can't run tosses on uh on Cam. I'd be over there waiting for a big fella. He, he, he always know the tosses coming. So he when is we game plan, the edge. We, he is we usually the edge. probably yeah we probably just go away. And when you tosses. run the stretch, and when you run the stretch the other anything. way, he's 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 closing the backside. Yeah, so. He is. He be cheating. Hey, and yeah. I'm really and I'm really here for this cutback game. I want I want you to cut back, please. I hated you. How y'all be seeing camp? the ball like on like play fakes and stuff? Y'all see the ball so good. I used to play uh, DN in Little League. I could never see the ball. <laughs> That's I was it's like, not, where's it, the ball? Like, not, if they, if they play fake, I, I get caught on a play fake every time. I don't know it's, how. It's he, not he, the play fake. It's he's the, the O-line the pass set. Pass yeah, set, run the, set. It's, 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 yeah, it's the old lineman that gives it away. But there's still yeah. sometimes you have to see the – just in case you don't get that, like you see the ball like sometimes. Sometimes, yeah, yeah. Like, like if, when they're about to hand it off and they just go. That's because I'm already there. intelligent player. He knows how they fire off. Versus the run, versus a play action pass, Absolutely. and there's no hesitation in a run play. They are attacking, yeah. and when they do the play, play action pass, if they don't sell it, he knows. I mean, and why we're here? You you definitely got a first round offensive lineman now. You you don't you done picked one up. For, I like for, it. Yeah, I don't know what his name is. His you he, gonna I you gonna him, be seeing a lot of them. I saw him Tr jump Trisha out the Worse. water. There we go. Yep, yep. I saw him Iowa, jump out the Iowa. pool, and I was like, oh, he's explosive. But offensive lineman normally back. Pedal? I don't, Man, I you know, they, it's just everything's documented nowadays, bro. Like, no I, doubt. I mean, shit, that's, that's a cool, I mean, cool thing. I saw him, I, look, I saw him I, jump I, I, the pool. I, I tried it. it. I tried it. That's I impressive. That's yeah. impressive. I could do it off the sun shelf. That's one inch. My feet is in the water. <laughs> you know? All right. I need to know who's who's the hardest person to, uh, as a defender to get by. Oh, uh, 
You talking about DB, DBs? DB, DB. Yeah, clearly DBs. I mean, yes. I don't, I don't expect any linebacker don't, to run with you, Mike. Like I just, you know, like to, who's the fastest or who's, like, who's no, the no, best? No, no, the, be, the best, the, the best, best DB. You can be opinion. fast and get smoked. The best DB, the best corner. I can't just pick just one. I can't just pick just one. It's a lot of them. Like some, some doubled. games are different. I get it. Huh? That's because you're normally doubled. I get it. I get it. You can't pick. No, nah, but there, there's there's some I get some one on ones in. Like uh, Lattimore is good. Um, mm-hmm. Patrick Peterson. I would say he's probably the toughest in my career, like early on. Like three three years ago, I played against him. And usually, like, I love, like, when guys press me. And he was one-on-one a lot of the game, too. And he was just so physical and mm-hmm. smart and knew what the route was coming, ball skills through the roof. And he was he was that yeah. deal. 20, 2016, Patrick Peterson was was that deal. All right, so then then I need to know then then I need to know you did the right thing, you know, uh you got your contract, then you got your next contract. What was your like first major purchase? The one where you like I ain't broke no more. The one you were like like I'm proud of myself. I done got to this point. This is my The first one or the second one? The the first the first big purchase. The first one. The first, the first big one. purchase. The first yeah. one is the one where you really got heartfelt like this is my yeah. Roly. I've always wanted a Roly. That I I told you I was going to get this Roly, y'all. Yo, I bought a Roly actually, like later on, and they fucking got stolen by some movers. I think. I swear, I moved apartments during the season, and I was checking my bag. I always I kept my Rolex in there, and I did not find it at all. But all right, they they got <laughs> me. I had to eat that like... one. I had to eat that one. It was a bullshit Roly anyway. It cost me about thirty bands though. It was that bullshit. That's not but, a bullshit Roly. <laughs> but knowing what I know now, I would have got something even better. For that price, but anyway, my first big purchase was uh, I bought my mama crib, okay, in, in, in our hometown. That's where she wanted to stay, so I bought Love her my mama Gotta, crib. That's what I'm saying. I'm a stand. Yeah, so that that was a proud moment. <laughs> <laughs> what was your first big first big moment for you? What was your first big purchase for you? One you was like, yeah, I was one of these these Air Mags. Yeah, I don't, I can't even remember honestly. I can't remember. Mm, mm, what did I what did I get? I don't know, my, okay. but my first big purchase with for my my second contract, it was just like a. I guess it wasn't for just me, but uh, the wifey as well. We uh, took a private jet mm. to uh, Hawaii, Can pretty far. That's love. Like, that's that's super. That's, that's, cool. that's a nice. It's more expensive than I thought. Yeah, that's because you know it's the per hour on the jet. You know what I mean? Yeah, round trip. Hawaii mm-hmm. from Texas to L.A. to all the way to Hawaii back. It was, yeah, cost me man. a little bit, but it was it was oh, worth it. It was yeah, worth yeah. it. It was fun. Ain't yeah, nothing that, like it. Pulling I'll up. say that that PJ different. That unless PJ you, life different, man. Unless you go uh, the f- the first class em- fly Emirates, that's then that, that? that that's nice. Fly Emirates where oh, you get the bed, where you get the own bedroom and they give you a shower. You could take a shower, but you got to go to like Dubai, Maldives type. They yeah. give you a, a what a shower. So so you so, have your so, own apartment on the yeah, plane. You, like, you got your bed. Oh, you I ain't it. never seen that. That, Complimentary Dom Perignon. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt. All right, you I'm about to take a little flight then. Yeah, yeah. Hey, that's different. But that, that's after your, this next the, season, if that's, that's, play. The, that's your the, Dubai trip. That's your Dubai trip. Okay. Maldives with the wifey. You'll take Fly Emirates. You'll take the Emirates. That's the personal chef coming up. And are you allergic to anything? And can I make you something else? Wonderful. Oh, so I don't even know about that. That's the elite status right there. I I, I tripped into right. it. I tripped into it. Yeah, you know? <laughs> that was my honeymoon trip. That was my honeymoon trip. Exactly. Okay. I tripped into it. We all family, man. We love our family. I got two daughters. He got two daughters. You got two daughters, man. Mark, you got three it's daughters. I, oh, I had two daughters and then had a son and then had another I was going to say, Mark, what? You, gonna, you was going to skip a whole child out? Because <laughs> I didn't skip the child out, but he started you know with two daughters. No, no, he started with the two daughters. I started with two daughters. So there was like that. There know, we go. Yeah. There we go. You That's where I was getting at. Yeah. And then I forgot that I had more kids. I ain't forget, but I was trying to get with the, you know, the common denominator first. I guess. No doubt. I mean. No doubt. I was gonna say, I said, bro, you left, you left off one of, one of my whole kids. I love. I'm like, what I'm you? Sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> but anyways, tell us about the beautiful daughters you got, man. What's their names, man? How old are they, man? What's what's the best thing you've been having going on with the quarantine? You've been spending a lot of time with them. Let us know about the about the family, man. Man, it's been great. I mean, my oldest is uh, Mackenzie. She's eight. I had her my freshman year in college, 2012. Uh, my youngest daughter. Uh, me and my wife had her in twenty. My wife had her in twenty sixteen, so she's three. And uh, my son was born December twenty eighth of uh, last year. 
Yeah. yeah so. See, that's, he, that's and, what I'm saying. He a beast. He that's a the beast. common denominator. That persistence. Man. The Lord blesses that persistence. I had two son. I had two girls. Yep. Then I had my son. We are like here. Me and you. We here. Yep. We here. But <laughs> I don't know about that next one though. I don't know if I'm gonna dive into another one. I don't know. Yeah. I don't... tried to get him a brother, and yeah. the Lord said, "Don't be greedy." Game you got a little sis. <laughs> you yeah. gotta get humble. I got you. Yeah, yeah. Humble. <laughs> I, I want to give my. I want to give my my son a brother, and I tried twice. Like he came out first, and I was like, "Men make men," and he was like, "Daughter, I'm sorry, Lord." This, this man, Lord. you couldn't tell him nothing. Lord. His first child was a boy. This boy was Macho Man Randy Savage walking around. I, I was like, well, "All right, now be careful, no girl. Doubt. All right, hey. now be careful, girl." Yeah, yeah. I doubled down. I was like, "Lord, you see how I feel, L Lord." I didn't know I was playing with dice here. Look, I was, I was just looking for two boys. I just, you know, I love my daughters, and they love me. So, like, yeah. you know. Dogs Mike, y'all got y'all got the uh, the M names going with the family. Nah, my oldest is Mackenzie, but my my other my youngest daughter is Araya, and okay. my son is Amari. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Amari, Amari. T. Call him Amari T. That's dope. Straight Hooper from you know. Nah, he, he might be a quarterback, man. I mean, shit. We, we see Pat Mahomes. He got the same That's skin what I'm color. Saying. He gonna be have, you know what I'm saying? He gonna have the same access to you know all that. So, yeah, he gonna have he gonna have the, so you you got to start him off like P. Oh, I'm uh, starting him like off Pat early. Did. Straight baseball. Oh yeah, he's playing baseball, be out there basketball, football, boxing. But I don't know if football's gonna be in his in my son's life. I just want him to play like all basketball, baseball. And then why one not, day be like, why not football? Like, like until for until he wise like, or yeah yeah yeah. But okay. In my house, like growing up in my house, you know, pops was like you couldn't play till you're 13. Oh, for real? And I was like, yeah. So I never even thought about football until he made me, until he dropped me off to practice one day. Like, hey, bro, you're too damn big for basketball. What? Bye. How old were you? You know, 13. 13? Damn. Yeah, it, was, it was like the known house rule. Like, when you're 13, you play football. And at 13, I was like, Dad, I'm going to play basketball. He's like, shut up. Here's your pants. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I guess I'm a football player now. And then I, I went into the family business. Now you're one of the best in the league. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It we all just, works out. It all works out. So, you know, I don't, I it probably does work out. You're probably more fresh. Man. Five years of football off you, even though you're young, like still, that shit matter. It for, do. For brain and everything. At every hit. I took those every three years hit. off in high school. I feel, I feel fresh as a daisy. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you, also, you, you play, you play your Red shirt, and you red shirt like, at one year good. college. Fresh. Ooh, that boy still fresh. <laughs> you, really like, you really like 21 out here going on year eight. <laughs> you know what I mean? Duh. No, so you told us about the jet to going to Hawaii. What's your best? What's your favorite travel destination that you Ooh. had? Your favorite trips, man. We love traveling. Me and Cam, man. We many places together. Um, Been around the world. You have. I heard you got something brewing just through the grapevine, Cam, and you wrong for that. But anyways, Mike, <laughs> um, he holding out on you, Mark. I heard, man. We got the same. Yeah, we know the same is. peoples, man. And okay. uh, I heard something, man. Yeah. Man, I heard something too, and I said, confirm, <laughs> confirm. <laughs> <laughs> So until it's my, confirmed, I'm still looking. Yeah. Favorite travel destinations, my brother. That you Tur been to? Turks and Caic Turks and Caicos and Paris. Both of them was was dope, different, but they were it was they were great. Awesome. One of the best times of my life is in in in, in Paris. Paris was, is nice. Paris, Paris is, is different. It's like time. being in a different world. It's like it's did, cool did we, though. We did Paris together, right, Cam? Fashion Week. One of the best times of my life was in Paris. Yeah, yeah that was Paris. nice. We ate in Eiffel Tower, right? Duck or yep. pigeon? Uh, the not food's duck, trash, pigeon. Huh? The food's trash. Terrible, terrible. I ate up there so expensive we, we, and hey, trash. But we did it. I can't look. Yeah, I can't, we did I can't it agree as well, with you. But it was my trash. Fat, my fat boy status found some spots. No. We hit like this low key. We're talking about the gym. Eiffel Tower. No, the Eiffel Tower food. It's the oh, same. Yeah, it's yeah, the same yeah. restaurant. Yeah, yeah. That the the one where it gives you like twelve courses and you yeah, and they all small and they all suck. Yeah. <laughs> they terrible. They are the worst. This man, this man, I can't talk to him about food. This man was in Brazil with me eating chicken hearts on a kebab. Like they got the kebab full of chicken hearts. That boy I'm, just I'm here. I'm a foodie, bro. Like I'm here for all experiences. So yeah, chicken too. hearts, bro. Chicken hearts. Mike, you gonna eat chicken hearts, bro? Hello, chicken, I, like their heart. Chicken yeah. hearts. Yeah. The aorta valve. You, eat, you can oh, see it. Yeah. You eat gizzards. You can eat a chicken heart. I don't know. I, I gotta see how it looks. It's like a, it's like a, a mini heart, heart on a kebab. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good, then. I'm good. Bro, but they a, fire. a mini they heart fire, on, the, on a kebab. Fire. fire. 
a little I mean, heart, eating a heart, like a bro. Nah, have kidding. you had have you had gizzards before? I don't even like my steaks like meat like too red, so oh, I, could, like, I couldn't do it. You from Texas? You like them burnt things? You like them them pucks? Shit, out here in Texas, everybody like rare. Blue. I don't know why. <laughs> Blue <laughs> should be like you put it on the grill. Psst, psst. No, can you put a little bit more heat on that, please? <laughs> it's, it's I like a little extreme. bit, of, a little bit of pink. Damn, not, yeah. not too much. Yeah. <laughs> to each his own, though. To each his own. I was like, I was like, favorite spot in Paris. If you took your old lady where? You remember? The Louvre was cool. The Louvre. The Louvre was dope. So I always, because I had like a couple art history classes, and uh, you know, I learned, I knew about all that shit. And, uh, oh, that boy's sophisticated. It was, it was pretty cool seeing all that. <laughs> but um, out. what else? We we went to like a lot of mom and pop Italian spots, and they were off the chain. Mm. But the food mm. in Paris isn't bad, just like Eiffel Tower. Like yeah. we went to a lot of like <laughs> yeah. restaurants. We went a lot of we went sightseeing. Shopping. I know you did big shopping, yeah, big, yeah, big shopping. shopping. Man, I hate shopping with y'all. Look, I hate I, shopping in places like Paris where no you doubt. gotta go. You have to shop. Are they, no, are you go there well, to Cam, shop. The Cam's issue is he can't fit nothing. He has to go to Big and Tall. And they don't have that in Paris. Everybody five seven. Everything <laughs> small. I'll try to find some shoes. Bro. They only got size elevens. Like, come on. I'm in. I'm in clothes. They're like, that's triple X. I'm like, great. Let me try this on. Man, this is a medium. Like I should be having so much more space than this, but it's fly though. <laughs> I'm a sacrifice. I'm a sacrifice. I can't button this button up, up but I throw a t-shirt hey, underneath. Let's talk Harry Potter, my G. My boy. Let's get Ooh. it. Let's talk Harry Potter. This I, I hear you a big Harry Potter I'm, fan. Yeah, the biggest. The you biggest? You're, you're, the you're movies. The movies. I uh, see. I'm a book guy, but you a Hufflepuff Look, guy? Like what? What are we talking about? The, I'm Gryffindor all day. Look, Ooh, Gryffindor. Man, Gryffindor. <laughs> I, got my, I got my mask ready. My Harry Potter safe. shit ready. Mike Evans, Gryffindor. <laughs> <laughs> difficult, well, very to... difficult. <laughs> yep. Coming through with nah, the wedding gonna... status. Tell me about the wedding cake. That that wasn't the wedding cake. That was just like a special groom's cake that the wifey oh. got for me on the side, and everybody ate it up quick. I, I couldn't even get one bite of it. Wait, wait, tell me about this cake, though. It was like a, it was it's like a, a Harry Potter hat? groom's cake. Oh. It had Hedwig on there. It had uh, the uh, all the houses. I got It's a picture of it online. I mean, it's, it was really we'll, detailed cake. We'll look that up. No doubt. Yeah, I'm, I'm nice. going to have to check that. That's dope. So the favorite movie, you didn't read the books. You watched the movies, right? Yeah, I read the two books. The uh, yeah, Sorcerer Stone too. Chamber Secret. I, I read two books, and then I saw they get them this big, this thick. I was like, nah, yeah. pause. But, you bro, I mean? So the thing is, if I start a book series, I can't watch a movie. Like so, if I I It'll read all the, it, huh? yeah, like I read all the Harry Potter books before, like you know the movies were sort of out there. So by the time I got to the movies, I'm like, that's not what I thought she'd look like. Why he? I was like, this ain't they ain't even Man. telling the full story. So it's but I people, either got to do one or the other. I can't do both. You haven't watched the Harry Potter movies? I watched the first one and was pissed. That shit came out in 2001, brother. <laughs> <laughs> like, you want me to say? They, they get I judge better. Early. They get better. But it's like you know the whole. And you gotta watch story? it. And the time you didn't like it during two thousand one. How old were you in two thousand one? Ten. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say eleven. You didn't like it. <laughs> it was dope to me. I like. I was seven and I loved it. That's how I fell in love with it. See, our teacher read. Our second grade teacher read us that 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 joint, and she said the movie's coming out in November. We I watched that there. thing and then I fell in love. I was recording. I had the VHS. I'm recording the commercials, all the sneak peeks, <laughs> everything. But all the rest of them until DVDs and shit start coming out. No See, doubt. Personally, I thought I, DVD, I, I, DVD was I, a game changer. I would have been big, a quittish, big time. I would have been a quittish legend. You know what I mean? I feel Quit. like Hall of Fame quit. I would have been the best. I mean, I'm a receiver. So Harry Potter is kind of like me. That's why, because he could, he has to catch the snitch. Right. He has fast hands, IQ, do whatever it takes to, to get that rock. And that's what I'm going to do. So See, I think I would have been I'm out the here crumb level team. as a, a seeker. Okay. Hey, <laughs> see, I'm out here with this. I'm out here with the bludgeon. So you know, I got this bad. Yeah, see, that fits. Like, yeah, I, was that already, fits. I was already like, but at Cal, yeah, we you're a beater. Had, you're a beater. We we had no, a Quidditch be, team. No, so beat, beater. That's how they say it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we already had a Quidditch team. So I was I was on that thing. Hold on. What? You yeah, had a so, Quidditch team. Come on. I'm Where? Cal. Everybody knows how liberal it is. As I was leaving, there was like there was like a Quidditch team, and I like we joined in. Just a couple of football players just joined in and had the time of our lives. You can play. It's, you run around with broomsticks between your legs. It's awkward, but it's fun. It's it's fun. I've seen it, but you I don't. You can't play Quidditch if you're not flying on the broom. Yeah, sorry. 
True. Yeah. But you give, me a, you give me a cape and a broom. <laughs> That's sort of fun, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you, run, you running around that thing like it's low-key fun. I would, you know what I'm saying? Like I can't say I'd, I'd join the team and be there every week, but as a one-time appearance. So fun. like can you like move the broom to the side and just run or do you have to like. Nah, bro. It's got to be like a broom. It's is there be... snitch involved or you, yeah, you absolutely. got the quaffle? No, 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 no. no there's, there's everything involved. Snitch <laughs> comes later, of course. And like, there's a bludger? Yeah, absolutely. Is it hard? Check it. Check it you out. Hit people. It was. It was like six years ago. I don't. I don't really remember that one. Okay. But it was. It was. It was the time. Back when I was going back to Cal, proud of them, and then they went one eleven. They went one eleven one year, and I I stopped going back. You go. You go one eleven. Oh no! Oh no! My. I was I, like my high school. The only year I played, we were Uno and nine. One and nine. Uno. <laughs> Damn. Hey, that's why I was under recruited. Really, we were just awful. To be a mm. part of a team that awful. goes like to win one, one game, in something like the worst I've ever done is not gone to a bowl game, like five and seven or whatever. And I was like, I I gotta leave. I don't never want to be a part of this shit again. It, it hurt. It's just the whole season just sucks. Like it's just that's how I be at the in the pros too. When you're when you start off two and ten, it's like damn, like like it's good. sickening. <laughs> <laughs> you good? No, I'm good. I'm good. It. I'm just saying, like, just when you losing, it ain't as fun. You're no right. doubt, You're it's right. definitely not as fun. Just, I mean, not. we went three years in a row, seven to nine, seven to and, nine, and, and it we was were like sick. Yeah, we, were we were miserable, sick. and yeah. we were like looking. I was like, bro, I couldn't imagine like looking up at Cleveland, like, going, going over, over. <laughs> over. Yeah, that's over. Tough. Everybody's mad. Well, Coming Monday, everybody. Careers are it's, careers it's, are ended early. Joe Thomas, Hall of Famer, was like after ten years of Cleveland, was like I can't deal with this shit. My yeah, body so hurts. I'm Doesn't going home. <laughs> <laughs> My brain ain't bouncing back from this. I I went over in three years. I won four games. I'm leaving. Touche. Man. You deserve that. It's crazy that we can laugh about this, man. Because it does really ruin people's life. Like man. suck it. Yeah. Like if you lose, we, like I, because you're conditioned to win your entire life as yeah. athletes, you're conditioned to win. Like especially when you, when you get to that level, like the yeah. highest level, when you, money is involved, like, a lot of money. Like come on. Now let's talk gaming. Yeah. Mm. EA Madden, are you in the game? Hey, what's the what, what's everybody's no. rating on here anyway? Oh, I just yeah. I just you know I caught mine. I'm not mad at it. I right. just sure. I did just see yours and I'm glad you're getting the respect you deserve. Big what's, your, what's your rating? 96. Woo! Oh, you are. It's, it's the first year when I've been like, yeah, I ain't too shabby. What's yours? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's 91 or 92. See, man, they would be disrespecting 91. the boy, man. I'm tired of them, man. I'm tired of it. That's why I, I don't play that. I'll say there's I not don't too play many, it either. There's not too many people that guard you and you, you see your rating, you like. They be having corner. They be having cornerbacks. Ninety six, ninety eight, ninety nine. Is he? What are you going <laughs> off of? I like, snatched what, off what the top of his head of? continuously. <laughs> no, it, they just. I, I don't know. I don't know I do. about that game. I don't know how it works. So what you said? You uh, what you a Fortnite dude on the PC? I'm a Fortnite and two K, two K on a uh, PlayStation. PlayStation. Ooh. Yeah. Fortnite, at, least you, at least you know that. War, Warzone and like. Fortnite on PC though. We got to run it, man. We got to run it. We got to run yeah, it. Yeah, get my on. gamer tag after this. I want, I want no parts of Fortnite. Like, I just, it, Fortnite, I got on Fortnite. Eight year olds run me off the sticks, big fella. I'm kicking your ass. You'd be like, bro, no, you can't be talking this much trash with this little high voice. Like, you can't nah, kids crazy like. with it. They lost me with the building while shooting. I'm like, how do I build and shoot at the same time? You, you can't build and shoot at the same time? Oh, so you could just only build. Look, look, look. Mike, you can build and then shoot. shoot, build, then shoot. You can't do it at the exact same time. Okay, okay. See, I'm but it'd be looking like it because some people so fast, so fast, That's, bro. I thought well, it was maybe happening. having whole buildings. I'm like, bro, I just reloaded. Like, nah, it some dudes are elite, like it ain't fun playing against those people, but playing against people at your level, it's fun. But listen, you play PC, so you're playing the highest. No, no, level it, of it goes off, it goes off your like settings, like okay. what you've done, like are you how much you've won, and what's your kill death ratio, and stuff like that. What's your case? So I'm, my, it's high. So I'm a play against, I'm a good player. So I'm gonna play against good players. Mm. But What's the KD in Fortnite, yeah, and Warzone. I don't. I I haven't checked in Fortnite, but in, in Warzone it's so low. It's like <laughs> it's like straddling around one. Yeah, it's okay. As long yeah. as you, well, at least you have one. As long as, as, long as, long as you're one. teetering, <laughs> as long as you're teetering the positive KD ratio, we're I good. Think I've, on, I've only played like 
30 games. Any wins yet? No wins yet. Come on, we got to run with the boy. We're going to get you some dubs. Bet, bet. Man, hey, I, look, got like, I got like 21 wins. I just started playing two months ago. I was a multiplayer. <laughs> I was a multiplayer kill confirm guy. Like kill hardcore confirm, or core? Hard, hardcore, hardcore. Yep, yep. So, so when I transferred to the war zone, it really had me hot because it's core. I have to use a whole clip to kill somebody. Like it wasn't sitting well with me, but uh, I'm, I'm in love with it now. I, I, I'm. I, Battle like Royales are fun, aren't they? Yeah, they're the best. Battle no, Royale. No, they are not. They are. Yeah. I didn't think you could be beat multiplayer. Call, Call of Duty was my favorite game. Black Ops One was my favorite game of all time until Fortnite came out, and I was right. like, I'm not playing this bullshit. And <laughs> then I started playing it. I was like, Wow, this is the most creative game I ever seen. And I just, if, if you ain't played it. And two years, and it's gonna be hard for you to pick it up. But I played it a while back, so I got I got adjusted, and I'm all right. So it's been fun. See, see I messed up. I messed up and chose PUBG over Fortnite, and then PUBG just sort of got ran out quick. Yeah, pu well, PUBG in Warzone and uh, Apex and all those games are similar, right? Mm -hmm. Because so, it's like it's realistic. You know what I'm saying? You fall back to Fortnite's Warzone. a different game. Even though it's a battle royale, it's a different game. Warzone is dope, man. Warzone, Warzone is the best battle royale after Fortnite. I would say. <laughs> that's that's judgmental right there. I don't know if that's true, but no, I it's do opinions. Know. It's opinions, but right. I mean, if you look at the numbers, obviously Fortnite's the most popular game ever. Right. Damn, that might be true. No, just look at the numbers. Like it's for real. They don't even charge for the game. Warzone's free too, but. I yeah. say my Warzone. I'm just cheeks and I'm just upset that I'm trash at Warzone because I've been a college. You literally haven't all played, bro. You legit. I've played. legit put it logged in twelve times, and each one has gotten uglier and uglier. I'm <laughs> not. I don't see myself progressing. Like I just. <laughs> I told you, you have I to quit. go on with friends. You have to have a yeah, headset and definitely. talk to people. It's not if even you go on there on solo. My, my PS4 anymore. If it's you go on there solo, the storage gonna... is crazy though. It takes Short up so time? much. Oh, uh, it takes up so much of your the, game. The download the was like a was like an eighty five gigabyte pack. Probably took you like, a day. Probably took a day to, to get it. I just deleted it. I was like, I don't. It takes you know too what? long on the PC to download to load the game. I just couldn't. I couldn't do it. All right. So let me let me ask you this: as a as a pro athlete, right? You you have a vice. What like it, for me? It's shoes. I have so many shoes. I probably don't know what to do with them. I'm trying to become a minimalist. One day I'll get rid of them, allegedly. That being said, like what is what is your vice? Like what makes you happy? You go into your closet. You're like, mm, my watch collection is elite. Or like what is it? You can't wait to come out the next J that comes out. Cam's watch collection it. is elite. I'm not really big on like jewelry or 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 clothes or kicks or anything like that. Like I got kicks and, and clothes, but. I'm not big on fashion like that, honestly. What and about and jewelry, toys, quads, bikes? None of that. Video None games, that? Video, video games, games, movies. I love movies. It's my favorite thing. Movies and video games, TV shows. Okay. Mm -hmm. What's 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 uh? Tell us about the uh, show that you're watching right now. What recommend it's me a, a show? A lot, a lot of shows. Oh, you probably already seen the shows that I've. Shit, How to Get Away with Murder. I just picked that up. That's the best show ever. I love that I show. I, I haven't I haven't seen that. How I've to only get seen it. the first Arla season. Davis is the goat. No doubt. No doubt. How to get away with murder. I don't I know seen. how she can cry every episode. She can cry full tears, has snot running down her nose, and, and it looks like done. it's real. It's crazy. She unbelievable. That's uh, hey, how to get away with murder was unbelievable. And it was, it's a show like a on a network, like on a, a local network. Right. So that's why it's like I usually like uncensored shows, shows on like HBO, Stars, and Showtime. Yeah. Netflix stuff like that, but I'll say I'm a big Netflix guy. I'm a streamer automatically. I, mean, like, I don't even know the last time I watched regular TV. Yeah, How to Get Away with Murder is on Netflix. It is, but it's it's ABC. I think I think it's the ABC show. Mm. Regular uh, cable is Highway Robbery. There's never anything on there other than live <laughs> sports. Like I flick the channels. You have all the channels. You're like well, compared to what you used to now. That's what I'm saying. With no commercial, I don't even know the last time I seen a commercial. Like I'm on now. I'm it's on a lot of streaming services. Like, that's like it. if you got the premium movie channels, like you only watching movie channels. You ain't watching basic Netflix, cable, like, Hulu, HBO this, yeah. Demand. Like I Amazon got all, Prime, got it. Prime Video. What, what else? What else Tubi, got? Quibi, like, YouTube. <laughs> you can watch anything on YouTube. VRV, all of it. I got all the streaming sites with no commercials. I, I'm just like going exactly to what I want. I put it on TV the other day. The kids were like, "Why do we? Where's my movie?" Sorry, guys. <laughs> I forget that you guys don't know what commercials are. That's that's dad's fault. <laughs> so they hate the commercials. Bro, hate commercials. the commercials. I'm like, like, yes. like ran up to me like, you ruined my movie. <laughs> 
bro, it'll be back in two minutes. Like, yeah, all right, that's, that's my fault. All right, so you're not eat, so video games and okay, yeah, yeah. All right, keep keep it. All right, keep it tell us, tell us, tell us, tell us uh, the, the pregame playlist or you know your workout playlist. What, what, what you listening to? It's a heavy Lil Wayne. Heavy Wayne, OG Wayne, heavy. right? OG. Carter two, Carter three. The sky free, is free Weezy limit. album. You already know. Yeah. Draw, draw, draw three. Mm. Uh, what else? No ceilings. One, one and two. I like two as well. Mm-hmm. I'll say mixtape Wayne is a go. Yeah, mixtape Wayne. I like all that. All that. Mixtape Wayne. Dope. Drake. Mixtape. I got some. I, got, I definitely got Drake on there. Uh, Lil Baby. I like the. I like some of the new guys. Lil Baby hot right now. Yeah, he the, he the best out right now to me. Lil Baby hot. Right the young now. guys. Lil yes, Lil Baby. Da Baby. Da Baby. Da Baby's nice as well. He ain't, he ain't he's, a, he's a Lil big Baby time snaps. entertainer. Yeah. Lil Baby is spazzing, bro. His his. Rod stuff, Wave. His, Roddy Rich. Rock, I'm gonna yeah, uh, go ahead and throw good, one out to you young. lately. YBN Corday. Okay. I don't know exactly. that is. I'm gonna check him out though. What is he sing? What is he sing? Does he have a, a hit song or Bro, I, album? Like, my boy Marcus Davenport put me on like, let's call it two days ago. I've been nonstop. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, bro, check him out. You probably what like is, his what, vibe. What is it? Bobby YB, YBN y, Corday. YBN Corday. All right, I'm gonna look him up right now. Yeah, like Apple yeah. Music. Yeah. yeah, all of it. He on Apple. I be in yeah, Apple. Ch- ch- he got one with Anderson Pac in there. Yo, he, he pop uh, up. R&P. He the first one that pop up. Yeah, he got one R and P. He be snapping Yo, on the low. Is Not even on the low. This kid? I don't know. He looks like he's fourteen. Young and but yeah, I'm gonna check snapping. him out. <laughs> <laughs> and like and like on a chill vibe. I know. Nah, I know who this is. My my he, homies be watching watching him. So my homies be watching him. He got a he got a show or something. I, look, I'm nah, just learning about YouTube. him myself. They be watching okay. him on YouTube and shit. Oh yeah. I be on the color show, like you know. I be trying to get my music right, and they just be like random folks just be popping up. I be like, oh, he out there snapping, spazzing. Let me go ahead, add him in. They gotta get you locked in with the hook, with the beat, and then you like, oh, he actually talking about something, you know? Yeah, I don't, I don't really hear lyrics. All I hear is vibes. Like I, you asked me to, to no lyrics lyric back. You don't hear well, lyrics, bro. I legit Sometimes, have no huh? retention for lyrics. So you. Only the like the beat, like the the flow of the, of the song. Flow of everything. I'll be over there like, he could be talking straight garbage. So, <laughs> <laughs> so a beat like, and a rapper's cadence is what attracts you. No doubt. And I'm in there. I like that so, to an extent, but I, I definitely got to hear the lyrics and what they say. Yeah. I got to look up the lyrics to hear the lyrics. <laughs> like, oh. <laughs> some of them, but hell yeah, some. Absolutely. What? Like, I'm going to be rapping too fast. Or just they got that 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 mumble in them. Yeah. I'd be like, I don't know what he's saying, but I like it. <laughs> I'm like, and I'm gonna call him Jeffrey. Huh? Herky Herky Hercules. Herky Hercules. Herky Herky. Yeah. We we entertain it at the end of the day. You know, people entertain like y'all entertain with y'all show. It's a great show y'all got. Like how y'all entertain. Hey, and we appreciate you for even jumping on and, 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 and hollering at us, bro. For real, we know time is of the essence. And no we doubt. appreciate you coming in and tapping in with us for real, my dog. Absolutely. There's no, you know, it's no problem at all, man. I appreciate y'all having me on. I told you, Mike, we official, bro. I was like, we, we got oh, yeah, that, this, we this, got this that this real production. <laughs> we got that thing. That's big time.